everyone, JH Medium here, and today we are in Beijing. I'm at the Temple of Heaven, Tiantan, and it is freezing right now. I lived in Beijing for three years during middle school, but I feel like back then I rarely explored the city. So this time we're gonna tour around Beijing and have some very good food. It is absolutely freezing outside. So for our first meal in Beijing, we're gonna have copper pot hot pot. Traditionally, you eat this type of hot pot with a lot of people with a giant copper pot in the middle of the table. But here we have two small pots, one for the, each of us. The main ingredient for this type of hot pot is lamb. But unfortunately, I'm actually allergic to lamb. So I ordered the beef option. But maybe I'll try a tiny piece of lamb as well. You dunk it in the hot soup for 10 to 15 seconds, and that's enough. And then into this very cute sauce that's shaped like a smiley face. That is incredible. The beef is so tender, and with the addition of this sesame sauce, everything just melts in your mouth. We also ordered this special Beijing soda called Bei Bing Yang. I've never tried this before but Rika said it's the most famous drink in Beijing. It's really good, it basically tastes like Fanta. Definitely have this a try when you're in Beijing. We really came at just the right time. Less than 15 minutes after we sat down, there is already a huge line outside. But anyways, now I'm gonna try the lamb. Hopefully I don't have a weird allergic reaction. The meat is so tender. But I think I'm just not used to the lamb flavor since I barely eat it. When people think of hot pot, most will think of the Sichuan style hot pot that's spicy and numbing. Beijing hot pot is a completely different style. The ingredients are simple, the soup base is simple. It's really hot pot in its most stripped down form and I love it. And now it's time to go back into the freezing cold. Now this is definitely a must-do activity in Beijing during the winter. Sledding at Shichahai. You just sit on this little sled and you get two sticks, like you're skiing as you push the sled along. But it's almost impossible to break. If you don't want to do the sled, you can also try the bicycle. Okay, go! When you're in Beijing, of course you gotta have Peking duck. So right now we're in Qianmen in this restaurant called Jiu Menxuan and we're gonna try some of their baking duck and other famous Beijing dishes. First we got Jia Jiang Mian, which literally translates to fried sauce noodles. Basically you have this bean paste sauce and you mix it up with your noodles. It's really such a simple dish. It's just sauce, noodles, and some cucumbers. But that umami flavor of that bean paste is so incredible. And now this is the star of the show, the Peking duck. When you wrap this duck, you just take one of these thin sheets and you gotta make sure you have some of everything inside. Take a few pieces of the duck, dip it into that sauce, add some cucumbers, and just fold it up however you want and make sure nothing falls out. When that crispy duck skin touches your mouth, 
it just melts in your mouth into this delicious fatty oily liquid it's so good adding with that crunch of the cucumber it's a perfect bite and with the leftover carcass they cook it into this duck soup nothing goes to waste So我在北京最想吃的就是冰糖葫芦，然后它有山楂味的、草莓味的。朋友说山楂夹糯米的是最好吃的，所以今天要先试一下这个。Well, this concludes the first part of our Beijing tour. I think one of the best things about Beijing is that even though it's negative 20 degrees outside, Beijing has central heating, so it's actually quite warm indoors. But I think the freezing cold was definitely worth enduring because of all the fun activities you can do in the winter in Beijing. And of course, the delicious hot pots to warm your soul up. To conclude our Beijing trip, we are gonna go to Universal Studios Beijing. So stay tuned for the next video. JH Medium here and see you guys soon.